Elementary arithmetic is the simplified portion of arithmetic that includes the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It should not be confused with elementary function arithmetic. Elementary arithmetic starts with the natural numbers and the written symbols that represent them. The process for combining a pair of these numbers with the four basic operations traditionally relies on memorized results for small values of numbers, including the contents of a multiplication table to assist with multiplication and division. Elementary arithmetic will also includes fractions and negative numbers, which can be represented on a number line. The digits. Digits are the entire set of symbols used to represent numbers. In a particular numeral system, a single digit represents a different amount than any other digit. Although the symbols in the same numeral system might vary between cultures, in modern usage, the Arabic numerals are the most common set of symbols, and the most frequently used form of these digits is the Western style. Each single digit matches the following amounts. 0, 0, used in the absence of objects to be counted. For example, a different way of saying, there are no sticks here, is to say, the number of sticks here is 0, 1, 1, applied to a single item. For example, here is one stick, I 2, 2, applied to a pair of items. Here are two sticks, I 3, 3, applied to three items. Here are three sticks, I I 4, 4, applied to four items. Here are four sticks, I, 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 five, five, applied to five items. Here are five sticks, I, 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 six, six, applied to six items. Here are six sticks, I, 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 seven, seven, applied to seven items. Here are seven sticks, I, 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 eight, eight, applied to eight items. Here are eight sticks. I I I I I I I I nine nine applied to nine items. Here are nine sticks. I I I I I I I I I any numeral system defines the value of all numbers that contain more than one digit, most often by addition of the value for adjacent digits. The Hindu Arabic numeral system includes positional notation to determine the value for any numeral. In this type of system, the increase in value for an additional digit includes one or more multiplications with the radix value and the result is added to the value of an adjacent digit. With Arabic numerals, the radix value of 10 produces a value of 21 for the numeral 21. An additional multiplication with the radix value occurs for each additional digit, so the numeral 201 represents a value of 201. The elementary level of study typically includes understanding the value of individual whole numbers using Arabic numerals with a maximum of 7 digits and performing the four basic operations using Arabic numerals with a maximum of four digits each. Addition. When two numbers are added together, the result is called a sum. The two numbers being added together are called addends. What does it mean to add two natural numbers? Suppose you have two bags, one bag holding five apples and a second bag holding three apples. Grabbing a third, empty bag, move all the apples from the first and second bags into the third bag. The third bag now holds eight apples. This illustrates the combination of three apples and five apples is eight apples, or more generally, three plus five is eight, or three plus five equals eight, or eight is the sum of three and five. Numbers are abstract, and the addition of a group of three things to a group of five things will yield a group of eight things. Addition is a regrouping. Two sets of objects that were counted separately are put into a single group and counted together. The count of the new group is the sum of the separate counts of the two original groups. This operation of combining is only one of several possible meanings that the mathematical operation of addition can have. Other meanings for addition include comparing, joining, measuring, and even sometimes separating. Symbolically, addition is represented by the plus sign, plus, so the statement 3 plus 5 equals 8 can be written symbolically as 3 plus 5 equals 8. 
The order in which two numbers are added does not matter, so 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3 equals 8. This is the commutative property of addition. To add a pair of digits using the table, find the intersection of the row of the first digit with the column of the second digit. The row and the column intersect at a square containing the sum of the two digits. Some pairs of digits add up to two-digit numbers, with the tens digit always being a one. In the addition algorithm the tens digit of the sum of a pair of digits is called the carry digit. Addition algorithm for simplicity, consider only numbers with three digits or fewer. To add a pair of numbers, write the second number under the first one, so that digits line up in columns. The rightmost column will contain the ones digit of the second number under the ones digit of the first number. This rightmost column is the ones column. The column immediately to its left is the tens column. The tens column will have the tens digit of the second number under the tens digit of the first number. The column immediately to the left of the tens column is the hundreds column. The hundreds column will line up the hundreds digit of the second number under the hundreds digit of the first number. After the second number has been written down under the first one so that digits line up in their correct columns. Draw a line under the second number. Start with the ones column. The ones column should contain a pair of digits. The ones digit of the first number and under it, the ones digit of the second number. Find the sum of these two digits. Write this sum under the line and in the ones column. If the sum has two digits, then write down only the ones digit of the sum. Write the carry digit above the top digit of the next column. In this case the next column is the tens column, so write a 1 above the tens digit of the first number. If both first and second number each have only one digit then their sum is given in the addition table, and the addition algorithm is unnecessary. Then comes the tens column. The tens column might contain two digits. The tens digit of the first number and the tens digit of the second number. If one of the numbers has a missing tens digit then the tens digit for this number can be considered to be a zero. Add the tens digits of the two numbers. Then, if there is a carry digit, add it to this sum. If the sum was 18 then adding the carry digit to it will yield 19. If the sum of the tens digits is less than 10, then write it in the tens column under the line. If the sum has two digits then write its last digit in the tens column under the line, and carry its first digit over to the next column. In this case the hundreds column. If none of the two numbers has a hundreds digit then if there is no carry digit then the addition algorithm has finished. If there is a carry digit then write it in the hundreds column under the line, and the algorithm Rhythm is finished. When the algorithm finishes, the number under the line is the sum of the two numbers. If at least one of the numbers has a hundreds digit then if one of the numbers has a missing hundreds digit then write a zero digit in its place. Add the two hundreds digits, and to their sum add the carry digit if there is one. Then write the sum of the hundreds column under the line, also in the hundreds column. If the sum has two digits then write down the last digit of the sum in the hundreds column and write the carry digit to its left. On the thousands column, example say one wants to find the sum of the numbers chapter 653 and 274. Write the second number under the first one, with digits aligned in columns, like so. Then draw a line under the second number and put a plus sign. The addition starts with the ones column. The ones digit of the first number is 3 and of the second number is 4. The sum of 3 and 4 is 7, so write a 7 in the ones column under the line. Next, the tens column. The tens digit of the first number is 5, and the tens digit of the second number is 7, and 5 plus 7 is 12. 12, which has two digits, so write its last digit, 2, in the tens column under the line, and write the carry digit on the hundreds column above the first number. Next, the hundreds column. The hundreds digit of the first number is 6, while the hundreds digit of the second number is 2. 
the sum of 6 and 2 is 8, but there is a carry digit, which added to 8 is equal to 9. Write the 9 under the line in the hundreds column. No digits have been left unadded, so the algorithm finishes, and 653 plus 274 equals 927. Success of ship and size. The result of the addition of 1 to a number is the successor of that number. Examples. The successor of 0 is 1, the successor of 1 is 2, the successor of 2 is 3, the successor of 10 is 11. Every natural number has a successor. The predecessor of the successor of a number is the number itself. For example, 5 is the successor of 4 therefore 4 is the predecessor of 5. Every natural number except 0 has a predecessor. If a number is the successor of another number, then the first number is said to be larger than the other number. If a number is larger than another number, and if the other number is larger than a third number, then the first number is also larger than the third number. Example, 5 is larger than 4, and 4 is larger than 3, therefore 5 is larger than 3. But 6 is larger than 5, therefore 6 is also larger than 3. But 7 is larger than 6, therefore 7 is also larger than 3. Therefore 8 is larger than 3. Therefore 9 is larger than 3, etc. If two non-zero natural numbers are added together, then their sum is larger than either one of them. Example. 3 plus 5 equals 8, therefore 8 is larger than 3 and 8 is larger than 5. The symbol for larger than is greater than. If a number is larger than another one, then the other is smaller than the first one. Examples. 3 is smaller than 8 and 5 is smaller than 8. The symbol for smaller than is less than. A number cannot be at the same time larger and smaller than another number. Neither can a number be at the same time larger than and equal to another number. Given a pair of natural numbers, one and only one of the following cases must be true. The first number is larger than the second one. The first number is equal to the second one. The first number is smaller than the second one. Counting. To count a group of objects means to assign a natural number to each one of the objects, as if it were a label for that object, such that a natural number is never assigned to an object unless its predecessor was already assigned to another object, with the exception that zero is not assigned to any object. The smallest natural number to be assigned is 1, and the largest natural number assigned depends on the size of the group. It is called the count and it is equal to the number of objects in that group. The process of counting a group is the following. Let the count be equal to 0. The count is a variable quantity, which though beginning with a value of 0, will soon have its value changed several times. Find at least one object in the group which has not been labeled with a natural number. If no such object can be found then the counting is finished. Otherwise choose one of the unlabeled objects. Increase the count by 1. That is, replace the value of the count by its successor. Assign the new value of the count, as a label, to the unlabeled objects chosen in step 2. Go back to step 2. When the counting is finished, the last value of the count will be the final count. This count is equal to the number of objects in the group. Often, when counting objects, one does not keep track of what numerical label corresponds to which object. However, if one is counting persons, then one can ask the persons who are being counted to each keep track of the number which the person's self has been assigned. After the count has finished it is possible to ask the group of persons to file up in a line in order of increasing numerical label. What the persons would do during the process of lining up would be something like this. Each pair of persons who are unsure of their positions in the line ask each other what their numbers are. The person whose number is smaller should stand on the left side and the one with the larger number on the right side of the other person. Thus, pairs of persons compare their numbers and their positions, and commute their positions is necessary. And through repetition of such conditional commutations they become ordered. Subtraction Subtraction is the mathematical operation which describes a reduced quantity. 
The result of this operation is the difference between two numbers, the minuend and the subtrahend. As with addition, subtraction can have a number of interpretations, such as separating, comparing, combining, and sometimes joining. As with addition, there are other possible interpretations, such as motion. Symbolically, the minus sign represents the subtraction operation. So the statement, 5 minus 3 equals 2, is also written as 5 minus 3 equals 2. In elementary arithmetic, subtraction uses smaller positive numbers for all values to produce simpler solutions. Unlike addition, subtraction is not commutative, so the order of numbers in the operation will change the result. Therefore, each number is provided a different distinguishing name. The first number is formally defined as the minuend and the second number as the subtrahend. The value of the minuend is larger than the value of the subtrahend so that the result is a positive number, but a smaller value of the minuend will result in negative numbers. There are several methods to accomplish subtraction. The method which is in the United States of America referred to as traditional mathematics taught elementary school students to subtract using methods suitable for hand calculation. The particular method used varies from country to country, and within a country, different methods are in fashion at different times. Reform mathematics is distinguished generally by the lack of preference for any specific technique, replaced by guiding second-grade students to invent their own methods of computation, such as using properties of negative numbers in the case of Turk. American schools currently teach a method of subtraction using borrowing and a system of markings called crutches. Although a method of borrowing had been known and published in textbooks prior, apparently the crutches are the invention of William A. Brewell, who used them in a study in November 1937. This system caught on rapidly, displacing the other methods of subtraction in use in America at that time. Students in some European countries are taught, and some older Americans employ, a method of subtraction called the Austrian method, also known as the additions method. There is no borrowing in this method. There are also crutches which probably vary according to country. In the method of borrowing, a subtraction such as 86 minus 39 will accomplish the ones place subtraction of 9 from 6 by borrowing a 10 from 80 and adding it to the 6. The problem is thus transformed into minus 39, effectively. This is indicated by striking through the 8, writing a small 7 above it, and writing a small 1 above the 6. These markings are called crutches. The 9 is then subtracted from 16, leaving 7, and the 30 from the 70, leaving 40, or 47 as the result. In the additions method, a 10 is borrowed to make the 6 into 16, in preparation for the subtraction of 9, just as in the borrowing method. However, the 10 is not taken by reducing the minuend, rather one augments the subtrahend. Effectively, the problem is transformed into minus. Typically a crutch of a small one is marked just below the subtrahend digit as a reminder. Then the operations proceed. 9 from 16 is 7, and 40 from 80 is 40, or 47 as the result. The additions method seem to be taught in two variations, which differ only in psychology. Continuing the example of 86 minus 39, the first variation attempts to subtract 9 from 6, and then 9 from 16, borrowing a 10 by marking near the digit of the subtrahend in the next column. The second variation attempts to find a digit which, when added to 9, gives 6, and recognizing that is not possible, gives 16, and carrying the 10 of the 16 as a 1 marking near the same digit as in the first method. The markings are the same, it is just a matter of preference as to how one explains its appearance. As a final caution, the borrowing method gets a bit complicated in cases such as 100 minus 87, where a borrow cannot be made immediately, and must be obtained by reaching across several columns. In this case, the minuend is effectively rewritten as 90 plus 10, by taking a 100 from the hundreds, making 10 tens from it.
and immediately borrowing that down to nine tens in the tens column and finally placing a ten in the ones column.